it's heavy. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Wait, Natasha, the no, no, fell. Hold on. Hold the phone. The thing just fell out. Remember, this is the one that I dropped. So oh. in today's video, we have another eyeshadow palette collection. I already did one and I showed like my older palettes and I did a little story time, like why I got into makeup, why I bought these palettes and do I still use them or are they just dust collectors? So I will leave that video down below. Then, oh my God, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Then I thought, you know what? Let me do my luxury eyeshadow palette collection since you guys really like that video and you guys always ask me to do my makeup collection, right? So this won't be like Too Faced Anastasia, like not like the higher end. This will be like the Pat McGrath, the Natasha Denona. Now I don't have like a lot of brand, different brands luxury or a lot of the palettes, but... I have a, quite a few, so I figured I will show you them, tell you my thoughts and opinions about them. Is it worth the money? And do I even use them? So, let me show you the box very quickly. Oh my God, it's heavy. Oh no, 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 no. <gasps> Wait, Natasha, no, 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 fell. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh God, it didn't break. You guys know that feeling when you drop something, the makeup that's expensive and you're like, oh, you're scared to look at it? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, so look at this, this box is filled. So, if this is something that you'd be interested in, just stay tuned. All right, so let me take everything out and then, so I can go by brand. But very quickly, if you wanna know how I did this eyeshadow look, I said it in my other videos. I did do my boxy charms for the month of February, but I did film it. So I have a second channel called Just Anne's World. And over there, I get a little bit more personal. And then I do some get readies with me, a lot of car vlogs. When I do my story times, I do my makeup. So I will leave that channel down below. Check it out, see if it's something that you'd be interested interested in. I'm trying to get to 10k over there. And um, I have the giveaway still going on till February 22nd. There will be 10 winners. I will leave it down below and I think that's it. So let me get to sorting. Okay, so I have all my palettes here. Like I said, I don't have that many brands. Like I have Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, some Viseart, a couple Charlotte Tillsbury. I do have a Wayne Goss. I don't know if you consider that... Luxury, I do because I'll show you that first. So I got this in a um, Beautylish had like a surprise bag for Wayne Goss. This is the only eyeshadow palette I have from him. And this is the Imperial Topaz. And for six shades, this puppy's expensive. Let me look and see how much it is. So these are $55 for six shades. That's why I say it's luxury. And they're nice. I've used this palette one time. And I like it. I, I I mean, they're beautiful. They blend so good. I just, I don't know, $55 for six shades. I mean, but the shades are big and they will last you for a while. You'll, you'll never go out of eyeshadow with this, right? And the mirror's nice. Yeah. I don't know if I'd buy any more because of the price, but I do really like his formula. I really do, I recommend his formula. Okay, the other thing I got is an Estee Lauder. I don't think this would be luxury, but I did know where to put it at if I put it in like the middle range, like the ABH, I'm not sure. But I wanted to show you this anyway, because I only have one. And you have a mirror, but these, look at these shades. Okay, let me just show you. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Like, it's really nice. I know um, you can get these a lot on sale. And I got that in a subscription box. I believe it was like Chic Beauty Box or something like that. So I just wanted to show you that. But now let's get to the nitty gritty. Okay, let's do Natasha Denona because I have the most of her palettes. So I have a lot of the five pan palettes, but I have to tell you a lot of these I did get from either a BoxyCharm, put it in their beauty box, or you could get it in the charm room. So I didn't pay full price for these. All right, so the first one here is the Jubilee palette, and I got this in a box, and it is just gorgeous. So the big ones like this are like $50. The small ones, the five pans are 25. I always say get the small one because look how big, I mean, they're so small. Like, okay. <laughs> oh 
calm down. Can you, can you tell I get excited over eyeshadow? Like, you know, let me just show you. This is the Mini Love Palette. Now, I got this one. <gasps> the thing just fell out. Remember, this is the one that I dropped? Oh, my God. I got most of it. I am going to have to press it in. So I'm not going to show you this now. But uh, here's another small one. These pans will last you forever. You don't need the big ones. So now I'm not, this is the one that I dropped. Damn it. So let's put this aside and I will definitely press that back in. I got that on sale at Sephora during the Christmas time, I think, or something like that for like $12. Yeah. Okay. So the other smaller one is the mini Lila palette or Lila palette. I don't like this at all. The formula is just different and I don't tend to use it that much. It doesn't blend. I mean, it's very pretty. I mean, look, beautiful. Look at that blue. <laughs> but when you swatch it, it looks purpley blue. I don't know. But the form, can you see the formula is different as I swatched it? It's just, I don't know what type of formula she used on that, but... I don't like it. That's one I never pick up. Okay, so let's do the bigger palettes. So this was my first one that I got. This is when she, this is the eyeshadow number five. Like she would do the one, two, three. She never like really named them. And then you had like this, like where a brush would go, but brushes didn't come in it. So the packaging was a lot different. So this was like an older, older palette. And um, it's really good. Like, let me just show you a couple swatches. Look at that. And I had this for a couple years. This is the palette that made me fall in love with Natasha Denona. Here are the swatches. I mean, look at that silver. Ho, <laughs> beautiful. Her shimmer shades are just, I don't know, great. All right, then we have the Peak palette. So we got this, this was a BoxyCharm exclusive. This is a good palette, but it's not like her other formula. You know what I mean? Like, I like it. But it's not as good as her other formula. It's like she, they changed up. Some of these, the formula is a lot different. But I like this for the color. We have the Cranberry palette. This is a gorgeous palette. Oh, my God. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Let me swatch this one. Beautiful. Here's a purple. I mean, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. I love Natasha Denona's formula. I always got to like take it off because I get it everywhere. I forget and then I'll start like touching my face or what have you. Okay, so then we have the coral palette. Look how beautiful that is. The only thing is I wish there was like, like a deep, deep shade. Like or if this was darker to deepen it up because it's not as dark. Like let me just show you. See what I mean? It's not as dark when you swatch it to do a smoky look in my opinion. But it's a beautiful palette. And then the last five pan palette is the Ayana palette. Now, this is a funny story. So I, they did not, I was supposed to get this in a boxy charm and they never sent the palette to me. So it was like missing. So I went online uh, when they have the charm room and I bought this then. I'm like, ah, oh, I wanted that out of all things. So let me just show you this. See, this is what I like, how you can deepen it up. But look at that. Woohoo! yes, ma'am. There is a few. It's a little patchy, but it's buildable. You know what I mean? Okay. I won't I won't swatch all of them because we'll be here all friggin' day. Let me also know because I'm new to these collection videos. Do you like where you can see me or will you rather like if the camera is facing down and then you can see the palette? It's like you don't have to see my face or anything. Let me know. That way for my other collection videos like the highlighters, the other palettes, stuff like that. You know, I want to do what you guys like the best. Okay. Oh, no, that's Pat McGrath. What am I doing? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. So this is a Tropic palette. And I love how they have the holes here where you could just like, you know, pop them out. This is the palette that I'm like shocked about, not in a good way. So you have the nice mirror. But see these shades? You know, they were kind of like wet. But if you can see it in person, uh, they just, the formula change since I I mean this is all crumbly can you see that like it's cr look at that it 
I don't know. It's just a different, I mean, it's still pretty. Let's, let me swatch it. I know I keep saying don't swatch them. I mean, but look at it. I mean, look at that green. It's just, I don't know. It got kind of wonky. You know what I mean? And I, this palette is, I probably have for almost two years, but it shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's a little weird. I haven't had that happen to me. Okay, so then we have the Metropolis palette. This is probably one of my favorites. These are the like the $129 ones. Oh my God, would you just, just sit back and look at these colors. I know I keep saying don't swatch them, Anne, but I cannot help it. Let me just look. Just sit back and look at that. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. look at that. This is a little patchy, but all of her shadows are buildable. And I, I mean, and look, I still have a whole bunch on my hand. You know what I mean? They're just gorgeous. I, that, that's my favorite palette by far. Is it worth $129? No. I don't, who, I don't know who people think they are. Like even the Pat McGrath, beautiful shadows. Don't get me wrong. But $125 for a palette? $129? I don't, I definitely don't think they're worth it. My husband had got me this for my birthday or something, whenever it came out. So, or Christmas, or like I said, whatever it came out, whatever that holiday was. So I'll never get rid of it because of that. But she expensive, you know? Okay. So here are some of the $65 palettes. So this is the Sunrise palette. Right up my alley. Look how beautiful those colors are. Love this palette. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Then we have the bronze palette. Now, this is one of my favorite colors in here. And I did not get this palette, oh my God, look at that, for a long time. I mean, it's just beautiful. I, I was like, oh, I don't know if I would like that. When I first got into makeup, that's all I use, these type of colors. But I was like, oh, I don't know. But I'm so happy I got it because I actually use this a lot more than I thought I would. It's a really beautiful palette. It blends like a dream. It's really, really good. And so, and my eye looks have always looked really good when I use this palette. Okay, here's the Love Palette. Now, this was gifted to me for my birthday, and um, I love it. Look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. So, this came out last year. And he, look at that. Just right, look at this color. That's gorgeous. I use these Pure Lease makeup wipes, and they're so wet. <laughs> That's what he said. That like, then I got to like wipe my hands because they, they worked really, really good. I'm not complaining. All right. So I have that one. This is my first palette I ever got from Natasha Denona. This is the Sunset Palette. When this first came out, let me show you what it looks like in case you've never seen it. These are the $129 palettes. When this first came out, everybody went crazy over. Do you guys remember that? I should have put this one in my other video that my older palettes that, you know, and because that's when warm tones were really coming out and this, they could not keep these in stock. And why? Because Natasha Denona was smart. She gave these in PR to all the bigger influencers and they all gave a great review. So we were like, yeah, let's get it. $129. Oh my God. And it sold out like two, three times. I finally got it. it. Finally came back in stock like six months or something after it was released that I was able to get my hands on it. But yeah, this is when, and I never used really yellows back then. So I got it for like the warm tone and everybody said it was great. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll get it. But look at that. I mean, look how that swatched. And this is an older palette. Beautiful. But this is my very first palette. And I almost had a heart attack when I paid $129, but I do it again because I'll never get rid of this palette. Okay. This was my most expensive palette. This is, what exactly is the name of this? Let's see if it says on here. I don't remember. This is one of the, it's the blue green palette for like $238. These are the very first palettes that came out from Natasha Denona and people lost their mind. And then especially it was $240 around that price. Now I got this discounted. Somebody was selling them. So I think I paid like $145. <laughs> That's still expensive, but I got like a hundred dollar savings, you know? And now that I look at it, it's like, why this is also, this is her new, look at this. I just swatches. You see how it crumbles? Look, look at my hand. Some of her formula is just, you know, and I, 
I don't, I'm not going to say, oh, that's because it's old. No, I had it palettes a lot longer than this and it didn't crumble, but they still swatched beautiful. You know, I just don't like that crumbling stuff. That's like how Melt Cosmetics, some other formulas like that, that I don't care for. Okay, so that is all of my Natasha Denona palettes. That's a lot, I know. But I still want to get like the Trio Chrome or whatever it's called. And there's that Zendo palette. But I'm on like a low buy with eyeshadow palettes because I have so many. I don't need them. But I'm a collector, you know? All right, let me put these away so I don't drop any more. I'm very upset about that mini love thing. And then we'll get to the Pat McGrath. All right, I don't have that many palettes left. Let me take this off my arm. I know, I know me. I'll get it all over my shirt. Let me show you how this works. This is the Patrick Star. Um, it's called Go Off. And you spray this like when you want to take your makeup off. Let me get a clean wipe and I'm just going to show you how well that works. Clean wipe. And I just sprayed it. Look at this. Look how it comes right off. Look at that. Look at that. I, this is really good. I don't think this gets enough credit like it should. I love it. If you are a full face type of gal and you need something to break up your makeup before you like go in and you know, that is something to get. Okay, let's go in with my Pat McGrath. I don't have that many of these. So this is what I showed you earlier. I got this on Sephora when it was like on sale for like $12 or something. This was, I think, came out Christmas time and they had like two of them. And it was pretty expensive, but it's only what? One, two, three, four, five, five shimmers. They were all shimmers. This one and the other one. The other one is more neutral. And I'm like, I'm not paying. I don't know how much it was, $40 or whatever. This is when she first did her smaller pan and cheap packaging. But it, so it wasn't as expensive as the other ones. And, you know, it's for people that want to try her formula, but her formula and, and these weren't as good as like her palettes. It's like a different formula. I mean, even though, look, that's still good. I mean, oh my God, it's still good. I just, uh, oh my God, it's really good. I just didn't think, and that's why they didn't sell and they went to Sephora and um, I got it like really, really cheap. I just didn't get the neutral one because I have a whole bunch of neutral shadows. I didn't need it. But I wanted to try it and see what it was like, you know? Now, most of these I got on sale. This was my, this is the only big palette I have because these are $125. So this was my first palette I ever bought with Pat McGrath. And I seen it and I really fell in love with it. Which, what is this? It doesn't say which one it is, but I'll show it to you. So it comes out like that. First of all, the artwork is beautiful. Does it say it on here? mothership i don't know which one it is but has a mirror but it's this one with the green these are the colors that i was like oh that's gorgeous the other ones are pretty too but 125 dollars. so these are what her special shades are so let me do a little swatch of some of her okay so these are like the mattes this is like a little shimmer shade here I mean, look at that shimmer. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Like her formula is great. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a patchy because it was on my, you know, uh, pinky. Now the shimmer shades, I mean, the special shades, I'm like, well, I don't understand what's so special. Like I put this on and even if I use like, like glitter glue or whatever like that and fall off. And um, she came out with, um, like a glitter glue or something like that on her site. And it was like $28. But using that, you put that on your lid first and then these, and then they don't fall off. Because at first I was like, what is so special about these shades? People are going bonkers. But then look at them. Look at them. Oh my God. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Beautiful. I mean, is it worth $125? No, I don't think any makeup is worth that much money. But I understand why people go gaga over her formula. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So then I just have three of these. These are $65 a piece, but I've got these when Pat McGrath has her sales for like 50% off. So all of these I got 50% off when she would have her sales. So 
All right, so here we have this one. This is the Mothership Sublimi Sublimial Platinum Bronze. I mean, for like $30. I think it was like $32. You can't beat that. Why can't I get this open? It was like stuck. Now, don't shoot me. I've never used this palette. So you have a mirror. I got it because this is when I had my little addiction. And uh, why isn't this coming off? And um, I did swatch a few. And I was like, oh, $30? But that's what she looks like. It's very pretty. I mean, look, there's just two. Oh, God, that's pretty. It's definitely worth $30. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we have that. Let me put this back on so I don't lose it. This is the Rose Deca Decascent Palette. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. This I got for the half off the third. I mean, look at that. This shade is, oh, no, no, wrong shade. This shade is just gorgeous. So pretty. Now, these smaller ones don't have the special shades. It's mainly in her bigger palettes, but it's still good. And for like $32, I couldn't beat it. And then the last one is this one. This is called the Golden Obulence Palette. The packaging alone, look at that. It's beautiful. I mean, I just think it's... It, she does awesome packaging. Here's just two shades right here. I don't know why I keep saying it. I'm not going to keep swatching them for the time. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. All right, so let me put these up, and then we'll get to the Viseart. That's the oh, last one I have. Nope, I have a couple Charlotte Tilbury, and um, then we'll be done. You know what? Let me do the Charlotte Tilbury because I only have three of them. The rest are all the Viseart or Viseart. This I got in a Beautylish Lucky Bag last year. I got the big boy, the XL, the $150 one, and they put this in here. And I've only used this a couple times because for me, I know I'm probably blinding you, the shades are just way too light for me. And I only use three shades. But yeah, so I never used it, but I need to use it because these is like, the, what? can you talk? This is like $75, you know what I mean? All right, and then I have two of the smaller palettes. Each of these were um, put in, in uh, either a Beautylish box or something like that. I think both of them were because I, I did Beautylish boxes for like four or five years now. I just did the one for the 2022 and I got extra lucky. I'll leave that video down below. So, I mean, because even just for four pans, they're expensive. This is, I think the luxury palette it's called right here. So there are greens. And then this one I got in the, um, no, where's the one I got? So I have one more. I got in a Beautylish one. This is Exaggerize, but I got one this year. I might, I, I don't know where it's at though. So I, cause I got that in another palette. So, all right. So I have four of them, but the rest are all my, I have this for my Viseart and then these. All right. So these I got in BoxyCharm. Um, right here. And I thought they were the same palette. until so I seen this is the blue right here. And these are expensive. What are they like? $80. I do like Viseart. I think they're nice. I mean, they're beautiful, but $80. But these are more for like makeup artists because they are very pigmented. So, you know, I do hear a lot of people saying like they don't care for it because of that. I like it. I just go in it with a very light hand, you know. Would I ever pay $80 for these? Heck no. But in BoxyCharm, I didn't pay that much. Did I even show you? So that's the one. And then this is the more like neutral one. I think it's very pretty. That orange is amazing. All right, so I have them. So then I have the Soleil La Plange. I'm even saying that right. You guys know I can't talk. Look at this. You guys can see I used this. This is gorgeous. Let me show you. Look at that. 
where am I going to put these at? I don't know. Oh my God. Look at that. First of all, the orange and look up here. I love a Vizzy Arts palette. I don't hear a lot of people talk about them, but I, I do. I, I know they're expensive, but you can always go on Beautylish. And then Beautylish has like a payment program. So if you ever want to try and don't have the money up front, you know? All right. And then I have these ones. A lot of these ones I got from Ipsy, believe it or not. Okay. So I got, uh, okay, so I didn't get a Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just remembering in the Beautylish box, I got this one. This is the Viseart that I got this year. Look at that. Gorgeous. So pretty. I don't know how much these are, like $40 or something like that. Let me look and see how much these little four pans are. I was lying. These are $25. They're not bad for four shadows, but not bad compared to some of the prices. Okay. These are $45 five dollars a piece so these are the theory palettes this is the theory two palettes that's a gorgeous palette so we have that this is the theory six palette oh green so pretty look at that I mean, I'm telling you, these these are, I don't hear a lot of people talk about them, but they're really, really good. And then lastly is the four palette. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at the purple. This is probably my favorite one out of the theory palettes. Okay. These palettes are $30 a piece. So this is, where is it? Does it say on here? The Truest palette. These are the Petite Pro. I love the packaging, you know, but that's what that one looks like. This is the Um palette. <laughs> U-M. I've never used this yet. I'll have to use this up. Maybe on my next Get Ready With Me. This is the two palette, Petite Pro two palette. I've definitely used this a few times. Love it. This orange is bedding in. So nice. And these two I got in Ipsy. These are like summertime. This is, doesn't say. Look at that. This is more like peachy toned. And then the yellow one here. Look at that. That's gorgeous. If you can get your hands on this, does it say? This is a uh, Petite Pro 5. God, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Especially for summer. Yes, ma'am. All right, so that's everything. I was so, I was in a roll that I didn't realize that was the last one. <laughs> Yeah, so that is my luxury. Like I said, I don't have like a whole lot where some people have. Like I don't have any Tom Fords and all that. But I have. I still have quite a few. I mean, if you add all these up, <laughs> I, hate, I hate to do it, you know? But like I said, most of them I didn't pay full price or I got in BoxyCharm or Ipsy or what have you. But I'm really happy with my collection. I would like to try Tom Ford, but she expensive. So they're like $80 for like four shadows. I don't know. I, I, I'm just throwing that on top of my head. It's just expensive. So either I get it on sale or however, but... I just can't afford that, but I would like to try that one. Let me know down below what luxury brand would you love to try that you have not tried? Let me know. And what is your favorite luxury brand? Let me know. And that's everything. Yeah, I'm so upset about this, <laughs> but I'll fix it. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Let me know what you think of these collection videos. Please let me know how you'd rather have it meet looking at you and showing you or with the camera facing down you ever watch the collection videos and then you know you see it that way let me know for my future videos and that's everything guys please like this video the more likes i get i do know that you like these collection videos and that way i know to keep doing them i have over 400 palettes so we'll do it like in steps but then i also have my highlighters bronzers face palettes if that's something that you're interested in give this video a like let me know and also, if you can comment, comment helps me out with engagement. So let me know what you think of these collection videos. Leave a comment. Let me know how your day's going. Leave an emoji. That all helps me. It gets me in the algorithm because we already got our 50K. And I think I told you, right? 
that we are we have a giveaway with 10 winners so my next goal is 100k i think i will have a heart attack if i ever get to 100k i don't know what i would do so yeah i'm trying to get these videos in the algorithm you know what i'm saying all right guys that's everything i will leave my other channels in the description box always check the description box it has some information in it and um yeah that's everything guys stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly, always stay you no matter what. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. My God, I think I have a problem because what one person needs this many palettes? Like, really? What are you going to do with them? Some of them you didn't even swatch. But I really am upset about this palette. All right, man. Get it together. Grow up. Get it together.